everyone. Um, I if you saw my last like three videos, I had a different storage uh, system. You guys, I didn't do a storage video, but like where I was filming my videos, like the table was different. Um, I just moved down to my basement because I had a bigger table down here to work with, and I had more space. So I got a few things from Michaels that I thought I'd share with you guys, and then um, show you guys what I got. Really, I only got two things, but I thought I'd share it with you anyways because um, I haven't filmed a, filmed a video in a long time. I got this Martha Stewart's craft mat because this table is like really big and white and I don't want it to get dirty at all. If you saw my last videos, it was pretty dirty up there, but that's because I've had that table since I was like four. And there was a lot of nail polish on there. But um, yeah, to just keep the space clean, I'll just work on top of this mat. It's a small one, but if it works. And then I also got this. This is the Recollections uh, like counter uh, carousel. And I just got it, I filled it up, so I thought I'd share with you guys what I put in here for now. This is basically all the tools I really have. Um, kind of throw it in here, so I thought I would share it with you. And, yeah, let's just get started. I just literally got it, so I just kind of put things in. We'll see if it changes when I start. But right here, I just have some, like, photo tape. It's just double-sided adhesive. I have my scissors. Um, one thing about it is it's very deep. So I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I've heard people put cotton balls at the bottom of it, so that's what I might do. Um, and then I, yeah, so then right here you have like these three little spots to attach things. So I have two of my stickles. My third stickle is upstairs somewhere. I forgot to bring it down, but yeah, my stickles are right there. And then in this container right here, this is like different than this one right here. This is divided in half. This one's just like a free space. And basically right here, I just have my two acrylic blocks for clear stamps, and then my two punches from Recollections, and that one's just a heart one. Um, right here is empty, and I like these drawers because they're, it has a little magnet at it, so if you're about to like, move it somewhere, you don't have to worry about it falling out. And also it matches the table like perfectly, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> uh, right here, this is definitely where I'm going to put like cotton balls if I get the chance because I can't like see my things and it's kind of hard to look through but uh, I just have like pens, I have a few color pens, I have pencils because that's a must while scrapbooking. I have my bone folder, I have a sharpie like paint pen in gold and then I also have this um, sharpie pen which is perfect for journaling. There's nothing in there and nothing on these hooks yet. Like I said I just got in. I don't have that many tools. Um, in this drawer, there's nothing in it. Uh, okay, right here, I just have these three, uh, like, washi tape things. Like, not exactly washi tape, but I got it from Michaels, and they're just, like, um, tape for your, like, scrapbooking and stuff. So that's what's inside there. And then I also have this, um, G Studio, or Studio G Glitter Glue. Um, and I don't know why I didn't put it in there, but I thought I'd just keep like all my three stickles together. So I kept this over here. And then I have my three Distress Inks by Tim Holtz. Um, I have Walnut Stained, Broken China, and this one is in Dusty Concord. So that goes in there. I hope the quality of this video is a little better. I'm using my camera instead of my phone. I don't know why I used my phone, but I did. Um, in here, this is where it's kind of crowded but like it sticks up which is fine but there's nothing in there I still like I said don't have too much but I have my Martha Stewart punch kind of hanging and my uh, sticky dot runner XL by Thermaleb fits in there without if this is in here this won't like sink down so that's fine and you can put like a place for a photo and it has to be five and inches by 3.75 um, which is cool so I might do that or like create something and put it in there which will be fun and then this is the last one little section and this has uh, my ink essentials blending tool I have this rubber stamp I kept most of my rubber stamps upstairs in my room but I decided to bring this one down because I was gonna use it probably with one of the layouts I was planning to do so this is it's a party and I got it for Michaels all the things I have are for Michaels um, this is dab and stick paper glue 
And then I have two more stamps. This is, for, they're both for me collections. This one is in marine. And this one, oh, just kidding. This one's in eggplant. This one's in marine. And then in this drawer right here is where, this is the drawer I have something in. So I have these two, um, like the foams for my essentials tool. And yes, I do have three Tim Holtz stamps, but I have more over here because I just got one of those, so yeah. I have a whole pack right in the center, right there, and this is just, you know, a pack of ten. And then I have a ruler, because you always need a ruler. Um, and I guess I could really quickly show you around. This is just a, like, flowers from my collection. This is where, like, my paper scraps are. I still haven't figured out my whole storage situation, as you can see. It's just a mess, but it works so much better than upstairs space, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, kind of just a randomness of things, but I hope you guys liked it, and I'm really loving this thing. It's so nice having it, and I know so many people have this in their scrap room, you know, just everywhere. Uh, you can use it for makeup, you can use it for anything like a kitchen, on your kitchen counter to put like scraps, bits of papers, you know, whatever you need, um, and it's perfect for that. So. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.